Hello everybody, so another update about getting the Pi on the WPI's very secure network. So in the last one, um, I had the keyboard that only did the three commands, but or four commands, but now I've got one that can do any range of stuff. And the way I'm doing that is there's a serial port that's connected from this mega to my computer, and then a software serial port that's connected from the mega to the nano, which is then sending commands to the Pi. So, and these two buttons are delete and enter. And so I'll go ahead and log in. So I can type Pi over here, and Pi ends up over there, and I'll hit enter. And I'll enter my password. Raise it there and I'll hit enter here. And we're logged in. So, in the last video, um, I was connecting to the internet, not the internet. So, I was connecting to WPI's network, but I wasn't connecting online. And now I've gone through the registration process and I'll show myself pinging Google. So, I'll write the command up here. So, ping. Google.com. I'll do it ten times. So you can see you wrote that command over there, and then I'll hit it. And it's pinging Google.com. So, yeah, the uh, video is the same way I did it before, but now I'll show you that I can actually. Uh, SSH into the Pi as well. So I'll run ifconfig. So produces that address, um, which I can then use putty to x to access. So open. And there we go. So you can see I can log in just like I was if I was at home. Sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic. It is very late. Let's see there, it's two thirty-eight. But yeah, there we go. So I'll show you that it's the same session by turning it off. So Now I can go to bed too. There we go. So, killed the session, turning it off over there. And now everything works. Alright, thank you for watching. Check the blog post for source codes and stuff. And yeah, catch you later.